Hey guys, this is Mike coming back with you with another Johnny Bench update video. Getting ready for the national, and I got in the piece that I want to get autographed. Uh, first, I have to say, Sam, that was an amazing vault video, fantastic. But where did that bat come from? Did I, did I miss a video? Where where was that at? Uh, that is so awesome looking because it looks like an official bat. It looks uh, it's signed. Uh, I don't know if it was game used, but uh, it's got the uh, fired in brand on it. Uh, that is an awesome piece, and I want some details on that where you got that and why you haven't shown that before or if I missed it give me the story again because that is just too awesome of a piece right there um, I've actually been doing some research on bats and uh, so I know how nice that one is but um, just wanted to show you what I got in this is the bat I'm going to take to the National to get signed this year uh, I've been trying to find a good bat it's it's not game used but uh, an auction on eBay just ended and the guy that was selling it is this guy right here this is one of his old baseball cards his name is uh, Bruce Berengi and I hope I'm not saying it too horribly but uh, he was with the Reds for from like 1981 through 84 and then he finished up with the Mets and I believe he was actually on their uh, World Series team of 86 um, but he was selling off some pieces from his uh, playing days and this bat was listed as one that uh, John uh, Johnny gave to him at the end of his rookie season which would have been 1981 so um, this is the piece I'll be taking to the National and it's an awesome piece here uh, it's got a little wear on it I don't know how much of that storage or just for them goofing around with it uh, it doesn't have the pine tar on it so it's not a game use bet uh, from what he's described it as I would say it was the end of the season and maybe they were cleaning out their lockers and such and this one he never used and uh, he decided to give it to him since he was a rookie on the team uh, the cool part also about this is that on the knob, if I can figure out how to get it up there, uh, that matches Bench's writing style for putting the number on his bench or his beds, and uh, just a cool piece. Uh, I can hardly wait to get it signed and uh, brought home. So. Um, but then of course I see Sam with his video with his Roger Clemens bat and uh, which looks fantastic and uh, I'm sure that was a very expensive piece uh, when he got it so I, I want some details Sam because that's just fantastic so anyway getting ready for the national and I do have some cards actually a lot of cards I've picked up in the last couple weeks um, let's see here we'll start off with some more of the basic stuff now to tribute I did get the base the gold I don't know if that's orange or gold base the 50 so the only one I need now is the 25 besides the one of ones of course and let's see here this one's out of archives from this year it's a 63 relic rate card very nice these are short printed so I was glad to get that and let's see here let's go on to museum I got the other ju dual jumbo lumber card with bench and Votto numbered five two of five bench has got a lot of back cards in this museum but what can you do uh, and also the framed relics I did get he, they come, Bench has got 15, 10, and 5 number cards this year. I've already showed the 10. I did pick up the 15. Just a beautiful card there.
and uh, I was very glad to get that one too there we go museum does such a great job with these frame cards it's beautiful um, I did get another back card this one's numbered out of 10 so I said they got a bunch of bat relics this year but they are beautiful cards so I'll try to pick them up at reasonable prices and this one goes back to series top series one for last year I believe yeah 2012 this is a dual autograph of Brian McCann with Bench with a patch on the McCann and it's only numbered to three of five uh, been looking for that for over a year now and finally found it beautiful card and I'll finish it up on my favorite product as you know I've been talking about it. it's my Sterling 2008 I found one of the ten uh, bat relic cards well the relic cards numbered to ten and to finish it up I got one of the auto relic cards numbered to ten beautiful card so I'm coming along with my sterling collection here I've made a few good pickups here lately so that's everything so I've got my autograph piece and I'm getting ready for the national I hope I'm gonna see a bunch of you guys there uh, Ryan I had to get rid of the Chia pet fuzz my wife was starting to complain a little bit as I'm sure most of you guys can understand so it's back to baby face Shane for now and um, let's see here besides that Sam I want some details on that bat it's absolutely stunning I mean the rest of the vaults fantastic too I, it's really come along since I remember the first days of it but uh, I mean you, you, your super collection is just unbelievable I really I think you've done a great job and um, I'd like to hear everybody start talking about what they want to get at the national uh, be great if everybody posts some videos talking about what they're looking for and stuff and maybe we can help each other out uh, I'm gonna try to help another youtuber that's looking for some cards and uh, I'm gonna see if I can help find him some because he can't go to the national this year so uh, it'd be great if everybody else would uh, kind of pitch in and see what you're looking for and um, you know to see it's just sharing that information is just fun and uh, like I'll be looking for my sterling updates anything that uh, short printed that I can find that this didn't pop up very very often but um, anyway thanks a lot for watching you all have a great day bye bye